Yeah. What are you doing? Just making a few little old improvements to Dr. Ray. Check this out. I call it the Gup Holder. Now the Gups can go anywhere. A Gup Holder. <laughs> That's brilliant. <laughs> Thanks, Quasi. Shiver me whiskers. The Octo Alert. <laughs> Agent Granddad! Oh, you there, Quasi! Sound the Octo Alert! <laughs> Sound the Octo Alert! We already did, Pete. Pete here loves this newfangled Octo Watch, so he was pretty excited when I asked him to sound the Octo Alert. Uh, Calico Jack, what's your emergency? Well, I came to this lovely little island to take a little cat nap, and then... Over here! Move this way! <laughs> Oh, oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Yeah. The frogs are after these beetles, and the beetles are putting up a fight against the frogs. Oh, I need some backup. It's more than one pirate can handle. But I reckon two pirates can handle it, eh, Quasi? Aye, aye, Captain. Captain, I can drop Quasi off on the island in the Octoray. You two can test out the new gup holder for me. Octonaut, let's do this. <laughs> Did I, Grandad? A vast there, matey. So long, Dashie. Duck and cover. Back off. Duck quasi. No. Smelly. You shiver me whiskers. Where'd that come from? Us. We're bombardier beetles. And when we're under attack, we squirt out boiling acid like this. It's like having your own pirate cannon built right into your tails. And it has quite a smell, too. This is the canopy layer. The leafy green treetops. At least it used to be leafy and green. I was afraid of this. Water has to travel all the way up a tree from its roots. So when a tree dries up, the top branches dry out first. No wonder the howlers had to move down to the understory. There's no shade up here and nothing to eat. This tree is too dried up, I'm afraid. The creatures here need to find a new home very soon. But how can we help? Oh. Ooh. Excuse me, are you okay? Yes, I'm okay. I'm sorry, but you'll have to find a new healthy tree to live in. This one's drying out. Yes, I know, but it's so hot. I'm too weak to move. Dashie the Tweak. We're ready to stop the water drop. Just in time. OK, Dashie, drop away. <sighs> oh. My babies are hatching. Oh. Just like when I was a baby. Hey, little guys. Ah, I haven't felt this good in months. I've got more than enough energy to find a new home. Look at me go. It's working. Even if we can't help all the trees, at least we're helping the creatures around here who need water. Looks like we need to go and fill up with more water. Thanks, Yeshi. This should give the critters in this tree enough time to find a new home. And we'd better get this little eaglet back to his home. <laughs> <laughs>
Harpy eagles usually nest in the emergent layer, the tops of the very tallest trees that poke up above the canopy. Then let's keep climbing. <laughs> oh, oh. The branches up here are so dry and weak, they won't support the Terragup 5's weight. We'll have to use climbing claws the rest of the way. I can't carry you and climb at the same time, unless... <laughs> That's better. I think perhaps I should stay in the Terragup 5. I'm not much of a climber, and I'd like to write down all the fascinating things we've seen while they're still fresh in my mind. Okay, Professor. We'll be back before you can say bunch of munchy crunchy carrots. My trip to the Amazon rainforest has certainly been... <laughs> Oh, my. Fascinating. And potentially very dangerous. Since I modeled it after a beetle, it has a few beetle-like attachments. Like all-purpose beetle legs. Dashy, try the leg extenders. Hey, <laughs> Hmm, impressive. <laughs> to work out. Once it's all finished, this pterogup will go anywhere on land we want it to. Just like a beetle. Octonauts to be HQ. <laughs> Octo Agent Parney, report please. Are you all right? <coughs> Me? I'm fine. Whoa! Parney? <laughs> I'm here, in the Himalayan mountains. And the snow is melting. Oh, and the water from the melted snow is making lots of mud. And the mud is sliding down the mountain. But you won't believe what I found. Oh, oh no, gonna jump. You better come quick. Barney, out! If we're going to help Barney, we're going to need the right gup. The Himalayas have some of the tallest mountains in the world. And it gets very windy way up there. Yes, not even the Gup H can handle those strong mountain winds. I'm afraid the Octoray wouldn't do much good either. Cap, this sounds like a job for the Terra Gup One. Uh, but it's not finished yet. A couple of special features aren't finished, but it'll drive on a mountainside just fine. And I'm ready to drive it, Captain. Keep on. All right then, Dashy, Tweak, and Tunip. To the Octoray. All right, are we ready to go? You're now. Good. Let's put this Terragup one to the test. in danger. Uh, over there! Help! Uh, guess there's still a few hot spots left over from yesterday's fire. I'll get the armadillo. Uh, huh? You and Dashie put out the fires. On it! It's okay. Fires are out. She's got the turtle egg! Follow that armadillo! 
They can leap three to four feet in the air. <gasps> Look! She's heading into the river! <gasps> oh, no! All that heavy armor covering her must have made her sink! Wait for it. That's right, Tweak. Armadillos can fill their bellies with air so they can float. Well, that's a relief. But we still gotta catch up with her. Yeah, gotta get Belle's egg back. She's sinking! Don't worry, we'll save her. Oh. Hey, whoa! Oh, you okay, Pa? Yeah, oh, it's just, uh, oh, I didn't know the gub cake could go underwater like this. I've lived in the Everglades my whole life, but I've never been under its waters. It's amazing. Petey, it's not safe there. You need to get to higher ground. I'm not leaving my haystack. Oh, what's that? Say bunch of munchy crunchy carrots. <laughs> All right, everyone. I'm going to get a closer look at that glacier. Let's get you to dry land, Beatties. No problem. I can get you and all your grub in one scoop. Over here. Oh, grass, thistle, chickweed, berries. Oh, my snacks are all. Here. <laughs> All this talk of food's making me hungry, matey. Good thing I brought some kelp cakes along. <laughs> the last haystack in the nick of time. That's what I call a rescue. But if the river keeps rising, the Pikas will get flooded out again. Well, hopefully Dash will find out what's making that glacier melt so fast. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Is everyone all right? Oh, my haystack. Your haystack? What about mine? Oh, you always borrow from my haystack. You've been borrowing from me. What? Walk in and took it. No need to fight. I can fix it. <laughs> you call that fixed? I had 47 berries in my haystack, and now there's only 43. <sighs> okay, is that better? Why does he get more berries than me? Dashi to Pearl, I found a glacier that looks unusual. I think you should take a look at this one right away. Send us the location and we'll head up there now. You and Quasi go ahead, Pearl. I still got haystacks to sort out. You think this will work? If there are any more water frogs out there, they'll have a much better chance of hearing you this way. It's coming from downstream. Sit tight, Ernesto. We're going to investigate. There! Oh. Are you Suenka's water frogs? Oh, yes, we are. Oh, dear. You look sick. Shellington, do you think they might have? Mm, yes. They're showing symptoms of the fungus sickness. We do not feel good. My name's Peso, and I'm a medic. I have a special ointment that should make you feel better. Oh, be careful not to touch them. Why? 
Will we get sick? No, the fungus only affects amphibians like frogs, toads or salamanders. But we don't want to spread it to other locations or to other frogs like Ernesto. I'll be careful. Gracias, senor. Oh, that feels so much better. Good thing, too. Wouldn't want you getting Ernesto sick. Ernesto? Who is Ernesto? Ah, he's your cousin, I suppose. He's been looking for other Sewenkas water frogs like you. Do not know of any other Sewenkas water frogs? When can we meet this Ernesto? Unfortunately, not yet. I'm going to have to quarantine you until the fungus is completely gone from your skins. Quarantine? What is quarantine? You just have to stay in this bubble for a few days until the fungus is all gone so you don't spread the disease to the water or other creatures. We had to use clean water. I tested it to make sure there's no fungus in it. Oh, gracias, Senor Shellington. You're eager to be with another water frog, but we don't want to make him sick like us. That doesn't mean you can't meet him by Octowatch. Ernesto, say hello to your new cousins. <laughs> hello. hello! I knew it! I knew that if I just kept calling out that someday I would find a family. Don't leave. No more. Wait, Ernesto! Mi familia! I am coming! Pony! You need to stop Ernesto. There's a fungus in this stream that could make him sick. We'd better keep an eye out for Ernesto before he gets too close to the stream. Already after him. Hello. Hello. Oh, have you spotted Ernesto? No, this is a call for help. <laughs> Don't worry, I've got this. According to Pani's signal, we're getting close. Oh no, Pani's Octowatch battery must have run out. That means he could be anywhere under the snow. I know. We can use the Terragub 2's heat scanner to scan for warm spots under the snow. We can track Pawnee and Gus by detecting their own body heat. That must be them. Or maybe that's them. Or that. Oh, no. Looks like there are a lot of creatures under the snow. Well, let's get digging. The subnivium! <gasps> Sorry, we didn't mean to hurt the sub. Uh, what do you call it? <laughs> the subnivium. It's the space between the snow and the ground where animals make shelters in the winter. Voles, shrews, frogs, caterpillars, and porcupines like me. My name's Priscilla. Oh, that explains why there are so many critters under the snow. Sorry to disturb you. We're looking for our friend. He's trapped under the ice with a rough grouse. They don't have any food, and we don't know how to find them. Well, the voles have tunnels through the snow. But to get around, you'd need someone who really knows the subnivium. Could you guide us, Priscilla? <laughs> sure. The tunnels will be tight, but you should be able to squeeze through. <laughs> I just hope we don't get lost. Don't worry, Peso. I'm tracking your heat signal and your octowatch signal. And it looks like there's something up ahead. Hi. Ooh, is it Pawnee? Nope, just a vol. I hope you don't mind us using your tunnels. Not at all. Just don't disturb that caterpillar. He's trying to sleep. Certainly a lot of different creatures taking shelter here in the Subnivium. And I'm keeping track of them right here on the screen. Hold on, I'm picking up something on the surface. Wait, what's that? Uh, snow? No, beneath the snow. I hear food. Oh, yeah, I like food. Psst, Peso, hold up. You got a pair of wolves straight above you. Wolves? Stuck myself with my own quill. Oh, we porcupines do that sometimes when we're ow, startled. Tweak, can you distract the wolves? I've got a hurt porcupine to care for. One distraction coming right up. <laughs> oh. <gasps> I'm Captain Barnacles. I'm Matey. 
Come on, everyone join in. Right, let's go. 